Hi there, this is Art and Such with a Rainbow Loom updated tutorial for Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll apologize now, I'm just getting over a, a bit of a cold, so if you hear sniffles in the background, that's me. There's not a lot I can do about it. For this tutorial, you have a few options as you go, and I'll point some more out to you. You can use white beads with the pupil, black beads, or bands for the eyes. I made my first one using white beads and this time I'm going to use little tiny black ones. They're just a couple millimeters across. The thing you have to watch out for with the black though is they have a tendency to blend in with dark hair. But we're going to try it and see how it comes out. I'll show you both in the thumbnail. I used pink on the hair the first time. I'm going to use red this time. We have black for the body, green for the arms and the skin and I have chosen to put a couple of silver bands in, the thick metallic ones, for her belt area. These I've added after. A couple of other things that you can add afterwards or as you go along, and I tried these both. I didn't really like the way they looked, but I thought I would mention the option. You can take a single when you're all done and pull it through the top and the top to create an X there. And another thing that you can do is get a, a piece of dental floss and thread on some, some pearl or white seed beads and put those onto the collar black bands. I'll tell you what those are if you want the white button, uh, button theme on the, <clears throat> on the neckline. So without further ado, we'll begin. You're going to need a hook, a holding hook, C-clip or two, your loom in the offset configuration and I'll be making one arm and one leg with you and getting you to pause for the others. So let's start our arms. We need two single greens. You can use light green or dark green. We're going to wrap them three times. Make it nice and tight on your hook. And this will go on to three pairs of black bands. And switch to green or your skin tone again. And we're taking five sets of double bands or five pairs and pulling them on here. And there is one arm, you're going to pause for another. Once again, that was two wrapped. Hold on to three pair black, five pair, five pair green. And we're going to put this on a holding hook for the time being. <clears throat> for our leg, we need to start with the boot. And, you know, if you don't like the way this looks or you don't want to get crazy, what you can do is just start with um, a wrapped two and pull it onto two extra pairs here and then continue continue up or you can add a little bulb here by putting a doubled over band on your hook when you're sliding it through the top. To make your boot like this what we need to do is take two black bands wrap them two or three times on your hook. You could decide how tight you'd like it. I'm doing it the full three wraps. This gets pulled onto two bands and before you put the other end on, you're going to take your left hand, keep some tension here, and pinch your bands where you, they sit on the hook. With your right hand, or your dominant hand, take two more bands, wrap them on the inside. I'm doing it three times again. Now you bring your other side over. We're going to slide this onto two more bands, but still we're not ready to replace it all yet. this on the inside. I'm just going to shift this around so that my little bulb of bands is in the middle. And take two more. Put them on the top. 
this gives it that long look. If you are content with having the shorter boot, you can finish it here and skip this current step. Now, last thing to do is take a single, double it over nice and tight. And this creates the curve for the ankle. Slide it through. And we really want to try and get everything kind of centered here. All right, from here, it's pretty easy. We need three sets of double black bands. So two bands together, put them on your hook, slide, and try and keep these as straight as you can because the legs like to be a little bendy wobbly. You could even do this part on the loom if you want to make sure they're extra, extra straight. Okay, so we have our legs and our arms on the side and we can get on to get going on the loom. <clears throat> For our body we need to start with two green bands and come down three times. Three times with two each in the middle. Now take two blocks and go from your second in the center to your second on the right and from the second center to the second left. And now we can come down either side of the loom using double blacks all the way. But just hang on, hang on for a minute before you do the middle. You don't have to fill the whole loom for the middle. <clears throat> I have to say these things because if you're a, a loomer like me, you like to jump ahead and that usually leads to undoing and backing up. Besides, it's nice to, nice to know what's coming. I think we're gonna, maybe we'll thicken the legs up a little bit. Um, hang on, so we're gonna start, we're gonna make a change here. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry guys, here I said we would get to know what's coming. When you get to your seventh peg down, we want four bands here. This is optional, but I will recommend it. And one set of three, one set of three, two more sets of three. This will give the legs just a little bit of a thicker look, I think. And a fourth set of three, and then two. So we used doubles until we reached the seventh peg down, and then we had four bands, three, 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 two. Let's do this for the other sides. And sorry again, I made you back up there after all. Let's come down three times, four times, five times. And then we're going to use our four bands together, three bands together, three more groups of three, and the very last set is going to be just two. Now in the middle, we're using double bands, and we're coming from the fourth peg to the fifth once and come down three more times with just double bands. Take two bands and come from, this is the eighth peg in the middle, the last peg that you've placed black bands on. You come up diagonally to the side, that puts you on your seventh side peg. And repeat for the left side. Get a capping band and we're going to loop it on that eighth peg in the middle as tightly as you comfortably can. So there's a cap right here. We can, I think we're gonna, yeah, we can add our arms now. We're gonna put those on the second pegs down on either side. And we can add our legs on the bottom. Try and get your feet to point the way you want them to now. So it's a bit harder to adjust them 
afterwards. Some holding bands on. We want a single block stretched from the third peg to the third peg and raised above the third peg in the center. And our next three are going to be doubled over singles. So we want really tight triangle bands forming below there. I'm going to give you two choices in a minute for the, oh, and let's do a single just below. I'm going to give you two choices for the side extension. The extension that I used here, I'll show you this first, is a single wrapped twice, pulled onto two sets of double black bands, and it went from the, let's just look here. This went from the fifth peg down. Don't do this yet, just watch and see if you like this option. To the third peg. And the middle section caught over the side and we just looped up. But I found this kind of, it popped out a little bit. It rounded funnily and was a little bit loose. So this time what I'm going to try, and you can check both options out in the thumbnail. The, the new version will be with the red haired one. This time I'm going to take my single, wrap it once and twice, pull it onto one set of double bands, and take the top, bring these to the third peg down. You can even, if you wanted, you could make a chain that goes right up to the arms, but I find that kind of eclipses and gets a little funny looking. And we get our, our hook into the cat band, and we're just going to pull this down to the peg below. And I'm hoping this will give us a nice rounded shape here without, without things popping out funny. Repeat for the other side, this, this extension or the other if that's what you're going with. It's a single wrapped twice and goes on to the third peg down and stretches to the fourth peg down. And I know it's a little late, but I'll mention, mention one third thing that you can do. You've seen me do this on my Archie characters and others. You can put six or eight bands, like instead of the extension, you can put six or eight bands on your third to fourth pegs and create a thickness that way. But this is what we're going to try here. And if you're ready, you can start looming with me. We're going to loom up the center first and stop at the second peg from the top. So let's get these side pieces. We're going to go under the capping band, find the top two bands, just trying to see where they should be, and bring them to the left side. So we lifted them out from under that that tight bed. Go back inside and get your next two and bring them to the right. And now we can move upwards and just stop when you get to the, the second one from the top. Should be pretty smooth sailing here. You can see I'm holding my loom down so, <laughs> so that nothing's slipping around or coming loose or popping. This helps keep things a bit sturdier. Okay, so we loop up the green twice. We do this because we want our black bands to come inwards as a collar. And incidentally, these are the bands that would have your um, your pearl beads, your seed beads, if you chose to have them. And you can add them at any point here, or even take them off and do it do it separately before placing them on. Okay, like you can take them off, put them on, and replace. So. We're going to come under the leg. I hope I'm not being too confusing here. Get your bottom two, loop it forward. Go back in. Open part of the hook is facing up. Take your bottom three and bring them forward. And we keep going all the way forward until we reach the top. When you <clears throat> get to this waist section, you have a lot of bands. You're going to 
press all of them back and just catch the bottom two. You can turn your loom to another angle if that helps you. Push back your holding bands, push back that triangle band, get inside, go forward. And here we have our extension. We're doing just the same thing. You push everything back and take only the bottom two each time. And last but not least, we need our diagonal band. So press back, get the black, bring it inwards. And we want two bands. I've only grabbed one there, so I need to go and catch it again. We're going to do the other side. I'll move a little bit faster this time, but we're essentially repeating everything we just did on the left. Once you've looped your right side in, you can go back under that second peg and retrieve your last two bands, bring them upwards, and these are going to go on your hook, and the rest is going to be eased off of the loom. have any loose bands you can tighten them up now if you're happy with the way that it looks then that's great we're all ready for the next step um, maybe we'll put our silver belt in now okay so if you would like the little silver bands here all we're gonna do is quite literally weave them in and let me switch my hooks here so I can have my my nimble little, what is this, two, number two. So, if you want your silver, you come in the side so that your hook is coming out at the front where you want your belt to sit. Take a hold of that silver band, slide it to the back, and put your hook through again just a little bit to the side. Latch your band on again. I'm trying to do this without twisting it and try and create a little bit of tension so it doesn't pop off when you slide it to the back. You can make it as loose or as tight as you want. You can angle it. You can, well, whatever the sky's the limit. I'm going to put the other one on other side, pop it through from the back, and I'm trying to get it somewhat symmetrical to the other side. Slide it back through. You can put these on a C-clip at any time, um, or, you know, whatever you want to do, you can just weave it in, you can tie it in a knot. And I'm finding my legs are popping a little further than I'd like. So two things that you can do, one, you can wrap a band around it and leave it overnight. That will sort of fit it into shape. Like I said, I'm not really happy with the way this is looking, so what I'm going to do take my hook through a couple of sections in the back take a black band and I'm going to pinch it together using a black band and then if it you know if I leave it for a little bit it'll probably sort itself into shape and that band can even be removed let's put this onto a c-clip and remember, you don't have to have the silver pieces at all. If you're really struggling with them, you can always leave them out. If you want, you can just take a silver or a gray and wrap it right around the waist. We've got lots of choices here. Okay, so our head is ready. Sorry, our body is ready. We just need our head now. 
and we'll make our hair chains last. We're gonna start with the outline for the head, which is two blocks from the top center to the top right, two from the top center to the top left, two black bands on each row, and then one more set of double bands on either side. Switch to green, come down twice in the middle, double bounce. And once from the right third to the middle fourth, once from the left third to the middle fourth. Two doubled over holding bands, skin tone color, green tone color. Double it over, bring it over all of your third tags in a triangle formation and repeat on your second pegs. Whatever eyes you have, you're going to get them onto your green band. I'm going to do this using the um, dental floss method. So you run your floss through your beads. Um, if you have bands, you can just do this on the hook. Wrap uh, each band three times, it's fine. And slide them onto your green together. For the dental floss, we run it through the beads, through the band over and back through the beads. And this works well with um, a thin wire or a needle and thread as well. This is what you would do if you wanted to had wanted to put the seed beads onto your collar. But there are, I'm sure there are other methods and whatever is working for you is great. Your eyes go across the second pegs. We separate them just a little bit. We try to separate them a little bit. I'm gonna put my hook in between. And pop this apart and over the center second. But I wanna try and keep my eyes kind of in more, it like in words at the same time. We're going to add our body and start to loop, and then we'll put our hair on top in a minute. Okay, take the neck bands with your front face facing up, place it on your second peg down in the center. Uh, sorry, fourth peg down in the center. And I'm just going to move these out of the way here a little. Get your hook, and we're going to loop once up to the side. Take the top two, bring them left, press it down a little. Take the next top two and bring them to the right. And then we can loop up twice in the middle. For your hair chains. Okay, we're, I'm using single bands, doing single chains. I did one black and five pinks here but it comes out really, really long, and we don't really have to have it that long. If you want your color to start right at the temple, right by the eye, then you don't have to add the black at the top. Uh, I'm still gonna do this. I don't really want the, the hair to start right at the face. And I have made four chains for my initial pattern. That's what I'm gonna do again. So you start with the color that you're gonna have for your bright lower. We take a single, wrap it twice, pull it onto as many singles as you'd like. I'm going to do three this time. Initially, I, I did do five. We're going to put it onto one block so that it kind of, again, blends in with the, the face here. And I'm going to repeat this three times so that we have two for each side. If you if you only want one, that's fine, and if you want it to be one on each, that's fine. If you want it to be thicker, you can create three for each side. Entirely up to you. This is our second chain. Third chain. And they 
are, yes, they are going to be kind of straggly right now. We're going to secure them a little bit better once everything's looped on and we can make it so that it holds a bit straighter. And of course now I'm going to make another note now that we're almost done this section. If you want your hair to be really, really thick and sturdy, you can do two bands. You can always double band instead of using the singles. Maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll try and put an annotation in a little earlier. Okay, we put two on the left third and two on the right third. And we're just going to loop straight up to the to the top now, going for our bottom bands only. That's on either side. So keep these down. Go inside. Get your bottom two blocks. Bring them up. Next two. Bring them up. Check that I've got the right bands here everywhere. And come in. Oh, we'll loop up once more in the middle. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, We'll loop up from the side first. Okay, watch that these hair pieces don't pop off when we loop up the other side, staying inside the eye bands and the holding bands, loop into the center, loop up the center one more time, and you can use one or two bands to slide through all of the bands of the top center peg. So push your hook through open part is facing away from you, catch your band and slide it up, other end on and you're going to pull one side over the other to create a slip knot. Let's take this off of the loop. I think we're about done. I'll just show you how to cinch in the hair. That's good, my video time is almost out. Okay, press your eyes through to where you can see them. Make sure you're looking at your front side, and you can tell because that's where your black is overlapping the neck. Hide your securing band in the back. We'll slide it under a couple of other bands, and it can go in a C-clip. And as for your hair, decide where you want them to sit. I'm going to put mine at the back. And we're going to take our hook, put it through a piece out of the end of each chain on one side. This is the back you're looking at. Slide it through the body where you want it to sit. And take a hair colored band, or a black band if you'd like, depending where it's sitting. Slide it through all of those. Create a slip knot, and there is your hair. And I'm just gonna cinch it up on the other side. So through the body, one through the body. Just has to go under one band really here and through the hair, right at the end of the chain. I know this is a little upside down. You can see clip this side um, right now if you want. I'm just doing this for convenience's sake as I show you. Okay, so you've slid uh, another band through, created a slip knot, and we're gonna put these all into a C-clip. Or you can weave them in a little bit better so that the red isn't showing so much. All right, so there, straighten the legs a little bit if we can. Your two versions of Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. I think I've got the rest of the setup, but you might have to dig back in my archives a little bit. I'll try and put some links in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching.